Guys, hello love. Uh, part two. What else is he saying, France? Part two. This time around, we've got more galley pet cider, or cider, as they say. This one is the rose version. Um, I think of rose. I think of that one from Blackpink. You know, their name is Rose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the weird drippy noises are and the tapping noises are, it's a dog. I've got my drink of water. I'm all sorting to go out for a... Or maybe not. <coughs> but she wants to go out, but obviously not. She's probably just going over here. Yeah, there she is. Anyway. So yeah, this is Rosé Cider. Um, yeah. Made in France. Produit en France. Northeast of France. Uh, says basically Jus de prom fermenté uh, uh, 100% pur juice fabrique avec des pommes à chair rouge français sans colorant ajouté mm -hmm. which would you like me to translate that using my amazing Anglo-French cultured intellect I'll do it right now Medium sweet French rose cider, fermented from 100% pear juice, naturally coloured by red flesh apples, no added colouring or artificial flavourings. That was me translating that, totally not someone wrote the translation themselves on the bottle. <laughs> but yeah, produced by Les Celliers Associés 22690, Plodian Surrounds, France. UK imported DRT White Drinks Limited Sparkshire. And, and, it's a 4.9% 313 bottle. <coughs> I'm going to show you what it looks like anyway. Yeah. Here you go, Deli Pet Cider. And for some reason they've given us two fucking labels on the back. <laughs> Didn't think this one through, did they? Um, it's the same label as well. Uh, also, is a really disappointing bottle top. Also, another funny thing that I want to point out that I didn't put out in the last video was that it says if you want to see the best before date, look at the bottle. Um, and I've looked at the best before date on the bottle and I cannot see it anywhere. Yeah, it, it's, it's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to know where it is? It's there. <laughs> That's where it is. Can you see it? Can you fucking see it? I fucking can't. <laughs> yeah. It literally says... If I look really closely, you can faintly see I was best before the 11th, 2024. Mind you, guys. Go. Yeah, this way. This way. This way. Yeah, come. Oh, yeah, come. Jump, jump. Oh. Right, well, I'm going to move this in, so be careful. There you go. Let's keep it safe. She's, she's literally under the table right now, I was all bumping into her. So yeah, uh, best before date, 11th of November, 2024. So there we go. Uh, let's get this out of the bottle, shall we? I expect the last one, but a bit more sweeter. Let's do some sound The last second. Let's, yeah, um, let's get this out of the bottle, shall we? And I will say the last one I've done was absolutely fantastic. Full marks. Maybe this one will be the same, I'm hoping. Uh, so yeah, more of the same, but with a slightly more pink colour. In fact, I want to have that extra lamp because I don't think the lighting is very good. Uh, that's better. Yes. Yeah, well, there you go. Yes. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll multitask, I'll review, and I'll stroke a dog. Because why not? Right, so, here's what it looks like. It's more of the same as the last one, but a slightly more of a pink colour. You know, because obviously it's rosé. You know. And it's made with um, flesh, red apples, red flesh apples. So, yeah. There we go, let's have a sniff.
slight sweet aroma, but not much of an aroma, a slight sweet aroma. Um, but yeah, it's basically more of the same, but just a slightly sweeter. Whereas the other one was like dry. Uh, that's what it's called brut, which in French is like the word for like, you know, dry alcohol. You know, no sugars and mostly thing, you know. Maybe a little scratch on the back, it's alright. Right, so, you know what it looks like, we know what it smells like, but what about the taste? Will it be? I'll move along my fair uh, <laughs> She's moving into places where she wants me to stroke her. So she doesn't want me to stroke her head, she'll sort of move her head out the way and like move her sort of a rib cage into the forefront so I have to stroke that instead. She doesn't want that, she'll like sort of twirl around on me to the other side. Yeah. Not soft, is she? So yeah, we know what this looks like, we know what it smells like, but what about the taste? Will it be? Uh, Galley Pet Rose, or will it be Galley Pet? No way. There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up, or not your bottoms. Cheers. Sante, whatever you want to call it. Nice, but it was a different kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay. Mm. Oh, fine, guys. I think that's bopping yourself on the couch there. Um, it's not as flavoursome as the last one. It's got a bit more spiciness, a bit more tanginess going on. Um, I'm gonna keep going here. Yeah. <coughs> I expected more of a sweeter taste, but it doesn't have one. More of a, a tangy, spicier thing, yo. That's like more. Well, yeah, it, it 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 feels. If you ever had one of them, like like a raw coconut apple, and you like took a bite out, it kind of tastes like that. So it's. Yeah, nice. Well, don't get me wrong, I like it, but it's um, it doesn't have the good mouth feel that the last one did, and the acid taste sort of fades very quickly, and it, it's a bit, it's it's a bit, it's, it's not too tangy, it, but it's quite tangy. So if you if you don't want your sides to be really tangy, don't get this. But I don't mind it. I do like it. You know, um, I give it about a eight out of ten. Yes, the dog is still there, she's just hidden. <laughs> See again, she, 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 wants, she wants a back leg woman now, because you know, obviously the, uh, the the rib cage is she's bored of her. You know, she'll do a full twirl in a minute and, I, and I'll be having to do it as again. You know, but yeah. But yeah, this is alright. This is uh, not too bad at all. Um, I think they're quite generous with the label, as you can see, it's two rather than one. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's, it's, it's not too bad, you know. Will I have it again? Probably, you know. Given the choice, I'd prefer the other brute one though. That's better. It's just a lot more tangy, a lot more sour. But yeah, um, I think I've pretty much said enough, haven't I? So, um, yeah. I think that concludes tonight's video. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to multitask here, but I can't. <laughs> I'm basically stroking a dog who's just decided to hide behind the couch for some reason. There's a there's there's an old telly behind the couch for some reason. Come on, come on, this way. 
Come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Uh, uh, and um, yeah, that, I think that's what I was looking for that. Probably bums in where they're more for it is. It's on the metal piece all day. But yeah, um, so yeah, that concludes tonight's video. Uh, I've enjoyed this, it's been too bad this one. Um, oh, I know, I've got a big one. Bit out So yeah, more raw, more tangier, bless you, than the last one, but not too bad, from the last. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video tonight, I've enjoyed both videos making them, because it's been nice, nice to take a break and do some cider for the first time. Um, got obviously a lot more to come in the next couple of days, hopefully a vlog, hopefully, you know, but... In the meantime, I'll be uh, signing out. Take care of you.